Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to calculate momentum. You should then be able to use the idea of momentum to describe the movement of objects. And all of this is for higher tier students only. Here's the first key fact. All moving objects have momentum. But if an object's not moving, then its momentum is zero. Now it's really important that you learn this idea. Objects that are not moving have no momentum. And that's often asked in the exam. We calculate momentum by using this equation. Momentum equals the mass multiplied by the velocity. And I've given you the triangle for this in case you prefer to use these. The unit of momentum is kilograms meter per second. Now you're not given this equation in the exam, so you do need to learn it. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of simple questions. A car has a mass of 1000 kilograms and is not moving. What's the momentum of the car? So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, in this case, the car's not moving at all. That means that its momentum must be zero. Here's another question. A car has a mass of 1,000 kilograms and is moving at 20 meters per second. Calculate the momentum of the car. So again, pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, in this case, the car is moving, so it must have momentum. Remember that momentum equals the mass multiplied by the velocity. The mass is 1,000 kilograms and the velocity is 20 meters per second. Multiplying 1,000 by 20 gives a momentum of 20,000 kilograms meter per second. Okay, now there is one key fact about momentum, which I'm showing you here, and this is called the conservation of momentum. In a closed system, the total momentum before an event is equal to the total momentum after an event. This sounds tricky, but it's actually quite straightforward. We're going to look at two examples, and you'll soon get the idea. I'm showing you here a van traveling towards a stationary car. Because the van's moving, it has momentum in the forward direction. The momentum of the van is its mass multiplied by its velocity. The stationary car has no momentum as it's not moving. Now the van collides with the car. Both the van and the car move together at a lower velocity than the initial velocity of the van. The total momentum of the van and the car together is now the same as the initial momentum of the van by itself. So as you can see, the total momentum before the collision is the same as the total momentum after the collision. In other words, momentum has been conserved. Here's another example. This shows a cannon containing a cannonball. Before the cannon fires, both the cannon and the cannonball are not moving. So the total momentum before firing equals zero. When the cannon fires, the cannonball is moving at a very large velocity, so the cannonball has momentum in the forward direction. At the same time, the cannon recoils. In other words, it moves backwards. This means that the cannon has momentum acting in the backwards direction. The backwards momentum of the cannon equals the forward momentum of the cannonball. So this means that the total momentum after firing is zero. So as you can see, the momentum before firing was zero and the momentum after firing is also zero. In other words, the momentum has been conserved. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on momentum in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.